What? Yeah, okay. I can't even hear you. <laughs> Boat projects. Huh. It's not hot. It's very humid, but there's a nice breeze. Yeah. I would be ecstatic if we could get at least four hours of work done today. What are you doing? I'm still trying to figure out that four-letter word you said. Oh. Work. Work? Yeah. Four hours of play. How about that? <laughs> There's another four-letter word. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to put foul rail on the pulpit. Our boat guy is trying to pull the glue up in the cockpit here so we can lift the floor and put the motor in. So, and we might try over here we've got all these lovely uh, lifeline stanchions that we are going to look at and maybe try to put on the boat so we can run the lifelines. So we'll just try to get that done. Try to put the rest of the drawers, find the homes for those since no drawer is the same in this boat. No. Um, Even though they all, when you put them all together, they all look like they're the same size. Width um, wise, height wise, they're like, just like slivers off and don't fit now. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try to focus on today. It's supposed to rain here after lunch sometimes, so we need to get going as quick as we can. I'm waiting on uh, the salvage guy to get here so I can maybe get a uh, lifeline stanchion post from him we've got one that's cracked see what we're missing as far as you know screws and whatnot i've got some screws that i got from another salvage place to try to fix the bimini and get that secured so just i'm going to try a little stuff today i'm going to finish up the sanding project okay so last weekend i did it with 60 grit sandpaper today i'm going to try the 120 and try to finish that all the way around the boat. And if we're lucky, I think I'm being over ambitious. I will do it with the final 220 and maybe condition and clean the varnish tomorrow so that we can paint it. Okay. Well, as you can see, we've got the kids here. Two out of three. Well, two out of three, so that's not bad. Good odds. Um, and they're going to try to just fill in where they can to help, and hey, maybe we can get them to actually film, since Ooh. we keep forgetting. Yeah, we could. So. I need an alternate director. Yeah, let's try to beat this rain and get some work done today. It's not work, it's play. Do Go. it. Some of the new nice sanded down rails that we have. Com compliments of Nancy. She did really good. She sanded them down so they're all ready for polishing with the teak polish. And just for comparison, this is what they used to look like. You can see the wood doesn't have quite the same shine as it does over there with the polish still on there flaking off. As you guys might have seen, there's 
just all over us. There's blue, blue, green, anything really. And even along here, you can see it. It's all over our feet, but it's there because we're sanding the bottom of the boat to repaint it. And basically what that does is it just seals it and uh, protects it from rot and such. But what it would do to you is honestly surprising because it has a reactant in it that reacts with water so when you sweat it kind of starts itching and starts grinding away your skin so you feel like you need to itch it but I'm not sure what itching does so <laughs> but it's everywhere it's mostly right over there at the entrances as you can see other side too also over there too but yeah wherever you go you'll see footprints you'll see shoe marks you'll see anything so that's it it's recommended that you use Dawn, Dawn dish, dish soap, soap to get it off your skin and ease the itching yeah while you're showering and just scrubbing to get all of the gunk off only if you're thinking about doing it yourself um me not personally but so what, you digging the bones out? Yep. I'm going over all these holes and I'm using this screwdriver and just slowly carving them out, turning it to the side using this sort of like Good. sticky stab. Good deal. What are you doing here? Vacuuming, vacuuming out where the propane tanks used to be. That you may or may not have just seen. Uh, I showed how to take out propane tanks. So I'm just vacuuming this out. Alright. So we can have a clean space to put whatever we're going to put in here. Alright. So let's look here. Should be a date on these. I couldn't find one. Twelve years for manufacture date is so right here. So. Tanks look like they're in good shape. So I don't see unless it's five of 2003. You can see right here, 20 pound tank, five of 03. So these are out of date. So glad we took those out. So we can. Take, get them hydro and reuse them, but we'll probably won't. They're probably scrap metal at this point. It's been a little bit since the last checkup. We have done quite a lot. As you can see, we got all these lifelines up here. Nice and tight, so we don't fall off. Nancy has sanded every single wood surface. Well, the teak because we're gonna replace that. But there's the um, bow of the boat, or yeah, bow. And that's where the anchor will go. Got more of that. I'm gonna come over here. We have. Nancy's taking off the teeth. Rebecca's vacuuming the floor out. And, yeah. That's the update we have now. We're still working on it.
at that. Lifelines all the way through. Happy and kids. Elijah. Yeah. And then Elijah. 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 But look at that. It looks like a boat now. I'm a dumbass. Why are you a dumbass? Because I forgot to hit record this morning. So the whole video that I thought we made isn't there. Well, the, you know what the beautiful thing about modern technology is? What? We can go back in time and create. <laughs> and we're back at the end of the day. <laughs> Do you see the little thing? Yeah, but I had to make sure that the microphone was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. So what? apparently, well, never mind. I'm such a dumbass. That's all I can say. It's hot. It's hot. It's humid. It's humid. It's overcast, as you can see behind us. It is a Florida summer day. It is. It is. There's little to no breeze, which makes it worse. We made some progress today. We brought more supplies for our help, and uh, currently he's down below trying to pull the shaft mount off the end of the shaft, the motor mount off, transmission mount, whatever it's called. The coupling at the end of the prop shaft that connects to the transmission. He's trying to pull that off to replace a uh, tripless water seal to make the prop shaft watertight, not drip, which is a good thing. We don't want any water in here. No. Water no, no, outside, no. okay. Water inside, not okay. Yeah, there's about that much in the village right now. So, okay. and it was dry last weekend when we left. But it rained. It did. But yeah, good progress. They're almost done sanding the bottom. Half the through halls are out. They're fairing up with epoxy. Any of the blisters they've uh, corrected and around any of the through halls that's needed it. So yeah, I mean, all the lifeline posts are up. Nancy, you sanded a lot I today. I sanded a lot today. Kids uh, definitely petered out and they went back to the car for some air conditioning. They didn't like it when I took a fan and, well, pointed it at them. They said, that's not air conditioning guy, so, oh well. We got the propane tanks pulled out. The floor, we're trying to work on getting out. Uh, we found some more home for drawers, you know, just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. We got the, some parts on the bimini fixed. So yeah, it was a good productive day today. It was. We're coming along, we got more parts to order. We've got a couple through hauls to order that uh, they had to cut. You know, it's so far it's it's looking good. I think she's uh, becoming a happy girl, so. She's definitely looking like a sailboat again, because you got that, uh Bell. Yeah, the safe, safety rail on safety the bow pulpit. Yeah. The pulpit is up now. So she's starting to look like a boat. We will have to get some footage when we uh, go off of her today, just so that you can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I have at least another two or three weekends of sanding. This well, is ridiculous. <laughs> How about let's do this? If you do like the project, please like and, sub and subscribe if I can talk. If you uh, want to help support the project, go, head on over to Patreon, donate over there, or you can go to sv-freespirit.com, and there's other ways to donate, as well as links to Patreon, as well as PayPal. There also is the Amazon shopping list. If you just want to buy something and, and send some love to us, we would greatly appreciate anything off that list. So, hey, I'm sweating. Yep. You're sweating. Yep. We're smurfified with blue again. We are, because so, our hole is blue and they still haven't finished sanding, so everywhere we step, it, we wind up looking like a smurf. So, let's let's get out of here and, uh, yeah. Ice cream cone and Chick-fil-A. Let's take showers. Yeah. All right. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.